Good morning, everybody. It is 728 right now and time to live well. So we will be living well with a new friend of ours, Dr. Dr. Ann Borseth from Executive Chiropractic of Iowa, Jackie. And about this time of year, especially when the weather is the way it is right now and things are slick outside, you might have some people that are slipping and falling and might be hurting their backs and things like that. So when you think about that, you think about a chiropractor to kind of get you straightened out again. But there's some other factors that could play some key roles in making your back not feel so well. Yeah, Believe it or not, food and how you mm -hmm. feel all kind of go together. And yes, a chiropractor, uh, a doctor is going to be talking about that today. So Executive Chiropractic of Iowa, not too far away from our, where our studio is located. Uh, why is it important for us to talk about this in the new year of food and how we feel? Um, well, it, food has a direct relationship as to how your body responds bonds to injuries. Obviously, I, I see more injuries in the office than, than anything else, but um, when people um, eat the standard American diet, which is not wonderful, um, we eat the standard American diet, that has a tendency to lead toward a more chronic inflammatory state in your body. So, um, and that, that's a problem. And that's a problem, yes. If we have a lot of inflammation in your body that inhibits healing, um, it makes it more difficult for you to feel better. Um, it's oftentimes the inflammation that actually causes the pain feeling that you're you're feeling in the body. Even, even your back pain. You're yes. Saying you're, you're, what you're basically saying is your back pain could be because Absolutely. of inflammation. Absolutely. Either caused by or exacerbated or made worse. Making it worse. Making it wow. worse. Okay, yep. so let's say we've had a fall here recently because we do have some uh, mm -hmm. slick conditions outside or we've just one of those people that I feel like we're always complaining about our back. Mm -hmm. um, how Talk about that, that inflammation and maybe what we're eating or not eating to uh, support a recovery. Absolutely. Um, what most people are taking in and in their diet are things that are high in refined carbohydrates. Okay, refined carbohydrates being things like um, cakes, cookies, crackers. The good um, stuff. The good stuff. Yeah. The <laughs> stuff that we all want to yeah. eat. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Um, those things contain a lot of sugar, and sugar is probably the biggest culprit in, well, sodas. I can't leave that out because that's probably the, the biggest thing for ingesting really? refined carbohydrates. And when you get a lot of that into your system, um, the body does different things with the food we intake, and it goes down different pathways. One of them is pro-inflammatory or causing more inflammation, or, and the other is anti-inflammatory. So when we eat things like the cakes and the cookies and, and the soda, um, that's going to create more inflammation. A little inflammation, inflammation is okay because that brings the, the healing properties to your injury, okay. say in the lower back, um, but too much, which honestly the standard American diet is full of it, um, then we've got over inflammation and that's what we deal with on a, on a more chronic basis. And, and why is that happening? Is it because our body can't handle the refined sugar that we're putting into it? So it's, it's, it's just too much. Or it's too yeah, much. Yeah, it's Your too body much. is saying yes. it's too much, so that's its way of dealing with it. Yes. Is kind of a little swell. bit of sugar is okay, right? That's what we use for energy, but the standard American diet is overloaded with sugar. Okay, I want to go back to one thing that you mentioned mm -hmm. that I really never put two and two together before. You said inflammation is the way your body responds to get the healing process started. Yeah. But you, you said so a little bit is good because the healing process will get going. Yes, which but, your body does naturally. But an overabundance is not a good thing. Right. Well, you think of like if you, I, we're here mostly talking about lower back pain, but think about it, uh, most people can relate um, inflammation to like if you twist your ankle, mm -hmm. you, there's some swelling. Right. Well, that's normal. That's a normal part of healing, a little bit. But too much swelling, you know, you don't want one the size of a bowling ball, right. then you've got a problem. So we want to minimize that a little bit. And the diet factors into that as well. So in like in your back where you don't really, you can't put that in a cast, you can't immobilize mm. that. So you really want to keep that inflammation under control. Yeah, because you have a lot of moving parts in absolutely. your spine, don't you? Absolutely, yeah. and supporting the weight of your body. Yep, absolutely. absolutely. Okay, so let's do the opposite. What are some things we can eat that might help that if we are dealing with some chronic pain or some back pain, as you've been mentioning specifically, is there something I can eat that can actually make me feel better or help the healing process. Absolutely, and it's and it's the things that people don't really want to hear that they should eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lay right. it out there, doctor. Let's, let's get yes. our pens out. All yes, right. mostly your whole foods, okay? So anything in the fresh. Like a whole pizza? And <laughs> a, no, not that no. kind of okay. whole. Um, in the um, fruits and vegetables realm, more vegetables than fruits, okay? Um, and your leaner meats, like your fish and chicken. Um, and then also, um, 
the um, omega rich foods like your fish, seafood, um, the olive oil people talk about, the more me Mediterranean diet with, the, right. with those kinds of things, the things are going to be, those omega threes go more towards that anti-inflammatory pathway in your body like I was talking about as far as how your body uses it. Now would this be a time when uh, you want to supplement uh, some things that are going on right now too, because you mentioned uh, omega-3 oils. A yes. lot of people aren't real fond of fish, but they want to get the benefits. Right, absolutely. Um, in your diet, I think it's great to have those things on a regular basis as kind of a prevention thing, but if you're having an acute injury, mm -hmm. if you're already dealing with chronic inflammation, um, achy joints and that sort of thing, then yes, supplementation is going to be key because you can't, you can't eat enough fish to overcome that, um, to get to have enough omega-3s in your diet. So right. supplementation is going to be important. So if you, as a doctor, if you're talking to a patient right now and said, if there's anything I want you to focus on in 2019 to help you better heal, be a healthier person, uh, what would that be? Skip the soda. Skip the soda. Skip now, the soda. Is, is, try it, try is and do that in 2019. All soda or just sugar, sugar-based soda? Um, primarily sugar-based soda. There's other reasons not to have the diet sodas, um, but mm. it, it, that wouldn't be leading towards the infl inflammation. But it's the, sh it's the sugar in the soda yes. that you're talking yes. about. Yes. Okay. Yep. So if you we're can just, avoid that. Yep. We're bombarding our bodies with too much sugar. Okay. Okay. Well, yep. There's plenty of other options if you, if you like the bubbly, sparkling type Absolutely. of drinks that you can indulge in. So I uh, just want, might want to transition over to some of those. Yeah. Just like the, um, I just saw in the news recently the, the, Sparkling so or yeah, sparkling, sparkling water, water. Sparkling is, yes, so yes, yes absolutely. Huge, yep. Yeah, the industry is going through right the roof. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, and that's part of the reason is people are wanting to eat and drink healthier. Yes, absolutely. That yep. is great. Never yep. even thought about that. But yes. how about that? So what you eat can affect absolutely. how your back feels and how your joints feel. Absolutely. It's absolutely. not just the cold weather. There's, <laughs> there's, a, there's, a there's other reasons out there. Um, so uh, maybe make that a resolution as you're heading into 2019, something new. Uh, just cut back the sugars, especially sodas, uh, if that's part of your normal. Uh, standard American diet, which also means sad. <laughs> whenever, you, whenever you think wah, diet, wah. Sad. you guys do that too. Sad. Sad. We, can, we can make it a positive thing, and if you smoke, uh, focus on local uh, small goals, a lot of times you can make yes. a big difference. Doctor, if people want more details on the great things you were telling us this morning, how can they reach you? Um, they can reach us through our website or calling our office number um, mm. at 515 uh, 440 3774. Um, the website is at ecicare.com. Um, and tell everybody really easily how to find your location because you told us where to, where to find your yeah. spot. And it's like, I know exactly where that is. Tell us how you told us. Uh, it's right, well, from the station, we're, we're just right down Westtown Parkway on the other side of the mall, the east side of the mall. And then uh, 29th and 30th kind of makes a U down there towards the freeway. We're right at the bottom of the hill. It's super close. Yep. Per per perfect, just yep. the east side of Valley West. Yes. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. That works. Well, thank you for joining us this morning You're and welcome. teaching us how we can live well in 2019. Thank right, you. Right, come over and pay you a visit. Is that Absolutely. okay? Absolutely. That'd wonderful. be wonderful. Thank you, Dr. Ann. Appreciate thank you. it.